Hey guys, I'm just here today to run you through the effects of EM in the soil. So obviously EM is a global technology that was developed um, over 30 years ago now that has a huge following around the world and is a combination, as many of you know, of bacteria, fungi and yeast uh, that has been thoroughly tested and is completely safe for humans and for animals. Official effects of EM happen when the unique combination of the bacteria, fungi and yeast perform their roles in the soil and then they activate the natural microorganisms in the soil. So what I'm going to focus on is five major effects and they are decomposing organic matter, producing plant growth substances, adding and stimulating beneficial soil microorganisms, um, recycling soil nutrients and, and, and solubilizing fertilizer compounds, and then building soil structure. So the first one is organic matter digestion. And so it will help decompose organic materials within the soil. Uh, and, and it will do this via a, a, a traditional de decomposition pathway, but also via a fermentive pathway um, and, and the fermentive pathway allows the microbes in the soil to, to, to digest organic matter without utilising as much nitrogen and without producing uh, as much ammonia and other substances to make the microbes more efficient. Okay, during this decomposition process and the fermentive process as I spoke about, acids and enzymes are produced and they will stimulate the native fauna within the soil. Um, and, and that will also stimulate the larger organisms within the soil food web, which is quite critical because protozoans and earthworms are also very important for breaking down the larger forms of organic matter that are present in the soil that the, 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 the fungi and bacteria can't break down because they, that, that they're not large enough and they're breaking down more simple sugars and more simple forms of organic matter. So stimulating the entire soil food web is very critical for the decomposition of organic matter in the soil and also for the healthy uh, the, the entire health of the soil and that healthy ecosystem to exist. Um, also, EM will prevent the production of ammonia during um, protein decomposition, metabolizing proteins in a way that produces amino acids um, and, and instead. And these amino acids are then absorbed by the plant and can be used as building blocks during the growth phase. So during this decomposition, EM efficiently breaks down organic matter and also turns it into a stable form of humus. This, this is a key component of aggregate form, formation in the soil and also a key aspect to building a healthy soil and water holding capacity and nutrient holding capacity, everything that we, we, we've come to know with a healthy, um, fresh smelling soil is, it, it is to do with the humus content of the soil. And, and the formation of that through the breakdown of, of, of organic material, which um, EM will help speed up. So the second one we're talking about is producing plant growth substances. So plant growth substances are produced by EM in a number of ways. Firstly, during the fermentation, we ferment EM in large wine vats. During the fermentation, secondary metabolites and vitamins and enzymes are produced and these are plant growth promoting and they will be absorbed by a plant and help that plant uh, develop and grow uh, naturally and sustainably. The second one is EM stimulates the production of plant growth hormones in the soil. So through their action in the soil, the microbes in EM, the different species, will stimulate the plant's production of plant growth regulators. So plant growth regulators are things called cytokines, things like cytokines, auxins, and gibberellins. So these plant growth regulators stimulate very important processes in the plant's development, including stem elongation, enzyme induction, flowering, etc., etc. So these are produced in it, naturally in the plant, and we're not adding them, they're produced naturally in the soil, sorry, and, and, and will stimulate a plant's production in that manner. The third way in which EM has a major effect in the soil is by adding and stimulating beneficial microorganisms. Obviously, with EM we're adding billions of microbes into the environment, but there's also 
already billions and billions and billions within the, within the soil. When microorganisms are activated, protozoans and other larger organisms such as worms will also increase and then we'll get a healthier, healthier ecosystem. Okay, so the next one is recycling soil nutrients. So one of the things that EM does well is by making fertilizer inputs more efficient. And, and the way it does that is, is the microbes will go hunting uh, nutrients within the soil and the symbiotic relationship that they have with the roots means that they're gonna pass those nutrients through to the plant and, and the plants will also tell the soil microbes when they need a specific nutrient or when they're short on something. So we often see that, that transfer of sugars from a plant to the microbes and nutri nutrition from the, the microbes to the plant and, and that is, is, is boosted when you add beneficial microbes into the system or you add food sources that are going to stimulate um, the ecosystem below the soil and, 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 that, and that pathway. So by putting the microbes into the soil we're going to make available largely unavailable nutrients and we're going to get a release of some of the things that are a wee bit more bound up in the soil because of enzymes and acids that are being released during the production it, by the production of the microbes. Finally we're going to look at building soil structure. The structure of the soil is one of the most important factors in determining soil health and, and therefore the productivity of a particular plant or crop. Soil structure impacts on a lot of things from drainage to um, the amount of oxygen the plant's getting and the soil microbes are getting to the amount of nutrition that's going to be passed through. So it's a big deal. Due to the fermentation action of EM, polysaccharides are formed. And polysaccharides are important because they help bind inorganic soil particles into stable ag aggregates and help to build structure within the soil. So that's one of the mechanisms in which EM uses in order to help build structure.